Hello everyone and welcome back to my Pico Tank. We are at the end of week seven and I am just now starting to make my videos for the second month update on my Pico Tank. So let's go back to week five. Um, this was the last week in October and nothing really happened with my tank. Um, I didn't get my light. Um, I had hoped that I would get my light this week, um, but I did not. Um, so really nothing happened and the tank is pretty boring. It just sat just like this for the whole week. The sixth week is the week that I was preparing to go on my vacation. What that meant for this little tank was that I did a little bit of an extra water change. Um, I had been doing weekly 50% water changes and the week before my vacation, um, like with my other tanks, I was feeding my little strawberry anemone every day as well as putting just a little bit of coral food in the tank to sort of float around. So because of this, uh, right before I went on vacation, I did like a 75% water change. And along with that, I have been siphoning the sand in this tank um, just because that's my habit and because it's new sand it's still a little bit dusty when it gets disturbed so I want to make sure I keep that cleaned. So like I said I am now at the end of the seventh week and this is the week that I went on vacation. I didn't have my tank sitter do a single thing with this tank. Um, I was paying attention in the weeks leading up to my vacation that with my lid, my plastic um, Tupperware lid. I pretty much have no evaporation. Um, I do have, as you can see, condensation on the lid, but basically I have no evaporation. So I didn't have my tank sitter do a single thing with this tank. I knew that the water would be fine. Um, I knew that I have no coral, so being with no light would be fine. I've got the heater set. That's been fine. So pretty much the tank has just been on autopilot so far for this second month. The only thing that I didn't anticipate for the week that I was on vacation was forgetting to turn everything back on after I did the water change. So the whole week I was gone, the tank was off. No heat, no circulation. Um, I noticed this um, right after we got home. Um, one of the first things I did was to check on my tanks and I saw that the temperature was low 70s and that's when I realized I left everything off. So unfortunately that happened. However, um, since then my strawberry anemone is open and I found my snail, he's still in there somewhere, as well as a bristle worm and the brittle starfish is in there as well. So everything survived that uh, mistake that I made. But like I said, it was gone, tank was sitting and it did just fine. Um, so that was week seven. Welcome to week eight. So just after I got back from vacation, my new light bulb finally arrived. Uh, you can see it sort of in the bottom corner right here. Um, unfortunately, the lamp that I wanted to use it with um, is not sturdy enough because the power bulb is so heavy. Um, I have it right now clamped to the back of a chair. Um, so even though I've had my light this week, I haven't really been using it. I'm going to have to order a different lamp to put the bulb in because this just isn't working. So again, nothing really major going on with the tank. It's just sort of sitting here. Uh, the little anemone is doing great. Um, that's about it. I can see that there's little pods and stuff on the glass. The snail's still chugging along. And so that's my update for week eight. Welcome to week nine. Um, my lamp for my light finally arrived, so I'm gonna show you guys how I get that set up. But before I do that, I wanted to zoom in a little bit on this um, little rubble rock. Um, there is the little strawberry anemone. He's right there. Um, to me, it looks like he's getting bigger. I don't know how fast they grow or how often they pop out babies, but it looks to me like he's expanding, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, the only other thing to note, and it is a little bit hard to see, so over on this side of the rock, there's sort of like this fluffy, stringy algae. 
Um, that, I think that probably developed when I was on vacation a couple weeks ago, um, which is kind of weird because there's not very much light, but also not weird because this um, little Pico tank does get just a couple hours of sunlight in the afternoon. Um, so I think when I do a water change, uh, next time I'm going to take this rock out and sort of scrub off this stringy algae that's growing on it because I don't want it to become a problem later on or, um, you know, spread to my bigger rock. But anyway, so I have the light. It came in from Amazon, or I mean the, the lamp, the stand. It's a hanging light thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I put that together. Alright, so this light is actually a reptile lamp stand and is made to be able to hang a light on the stand. I have a clamp lamp, so I'm hoping it'll still work just about the same. Um, so let's get this put together. We've got the stand. This is made to go underneath the tank, um, so I'll have to set that up later. And then we've got the bars that are adjustable. Of course, this didn't really come with any instructions, so I'm just going to figure it out. I'm guessing this would go here. And this one in the bottom like that. Now since um, there's not really much in the tank, but I do have the strawberry anemone. I think once I get the lamp um, set up, I'm going to start with um, two hours of light for two or three days and then go up to four hours of light for a couple days and then six hours of light. But I am probably going to put the lamp pretty far away from the water surface because I don't, I, don't, I don't want the strawberry anemone to be upset. I guess this is basically it. Ta-da! And we'll put this in the base. And screw it like that. So that was pretty easy to put together. Let me zoom the camera out a little bit. Um, that's, that's the stand. Um, let me clamp my light on. Um, like I said, this is a clamp, so I'm figuring I can just... But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the stand, how I can attach the lamp. I mean, I don't really mind if it's not hit. I mean, it's on an angle. I don't really mind that. Um, but I just want to make sure it's on there securely. You know, I don't think that's going to be secure enough. Because I wonder if this can pop off. I don't know. I'm going to play with it a little bit. Anyways, this is the stand I got. Basically doing the job I needed to do. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and that's it for my Pico update month two. Um, stay tuned for month three. Wow, we'll already be halfway through the contest, and I have no corals in there except for the little anemone. Um, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, especially suggestions for a Pico tank, let me know. Uh, my cat is starting to eat the box I threw on the ground, so I've got to go. Again, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.